This is unexpected. Philips computer monitor 80. Um, it's cracked, it's in pretty bad shape, but if I can restore that, it would make a sick, sick little uh, monitor. Guys, so I wanted to show you this uh, little monitor that I found actually recently in uh, in um, an, an, an abandoned warehouse that was going to be uh, torn down. Um, I heard it was going to be torn down, so I, uh, I I went in. It was actually just open, and uh, it just it was it was quite quite the scene. But in the mess and the dirt was this little guy that I, I just couldn't leave behind. So it's got some uh, crack here, but that's just the uh, plastic. It's no big deal. I can actually fix that. Uh, I'll probably try to just um, uh, use a soldering iron and just repair the plastic and use some um, epoxy behind just to um, strengthen it. Uh, it's got some mark. I mean, it's been however long, probably 20 years in this uh, just damp warehouse. I don't know if it works, but we're gonna attempt, we're gonna attempt to um, to restore it. So it's a cool little monochrome uh, computer. It's the Computer Monitor 80 by Philips, that's the name. Um, it's got a volume pod as a speaker in there, contrast, brightness. Uh, I like these uh, Philips monitor because they have this uh, little uh, thing here. And on the back, we got a few um, controls as well in proper Philips fashion. Uh, so some vertical and alignment uh, and horizontal alignment and sync. And um, this is audio and video in, this is com uh, composite. And uh, there's no uh, plug, so we'll have to put a UK plug on this. Um, and it opens up from these uh, screws. So we're gonna open this up and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can restore it. Maybe discharge it, clean it power it and see what happens so that's all four screws removed I expected to find a, a lot of dust and uh, I don't expect it to be have any charging after all this time but you just never know and pop uh, take a brush to this just uh, give it a, a clean it's not too bad it could have been a lot worse I expected it to be full of uh, spiders, and there is a few spider webs, but um, I was worried actually about water damage, really, that's what I was worried about, but there's a fuse here that I need to check for. So I got my um, plug here fitted. Uh, the last thing before I try anything here is I need to check for continuity on the fuse, just want to make sure we don't have a blown fuse. Yep. So there's only one way to um, whew, check this, uh, and it's to actually plug this guy. So, yeah, let's, switch. let's plug this guy. Oh, yeah, it's not. Oh, there you go. So that LED is on. Well, that's encouraging. Are we in a glow? We have an egg glow. Okay. Let me uh, move this crane here. Um, don't know if you can see there's a small neck glow here. So does that mean, oh yeah. Let me switch everything off here. There you go. You can see the neck glow. Um, very faint. And I think we have, yes, we have some signal. It's a very faint, let me uh, get this camera off the, the very faint. There you go, you can actually see it. Wow, can I, can I change the uh, brightness? Yes, it's working. Well, I mean, so far, uh, can I uh, change any of the 
pots here. Oh yeah, we sure can. Jeez. Oh. I'm gonna collapse. That's what it's for. Next thing I need to do here is uh, I got the tube and chassis out, but I need to fix this plastic. So I'm just gonna use my, uh, I have a soldering iron that's just for that and uh, do what I did on the uh, NES console, which is melt the plastic slightly and, uh, and, and fix it from the inside, uh, sort of rejoin it together. Hopefully that'll work. Um, it's broken anyway, it's, you know, it's it, it's splitting apart so um, and also I want to actually make a note of all these I couldn't find the schematics for this so I'm gonna make a note of all the um, uh, capacitors uh, I'm not gonna change them yet I don't see any sign of corrosion I don't think this monitor was used a lot but um, it won't hurt to know what's there and uh, maybe get myself a, a set a new set of capacitors and change them in time but um, right now, yeah, I'm not seeing any uh, any problem with it, and I no, I know it works. Um, so let's let's start this. I'm gonna use my crane here again. I wanna get this flush. There you go. And I'm gonna move this slowly in a sort of eight-figure uh, motion. I'm doing this from the inside as well because uh, that's the part where you don't mind the uh, sort of cosmetic changes this brings. But already, so I'm gonna keep doing this. Um, I can't, unfortunately, angle my crane properly here. Um, but I'm gonna continue this. You get the idea. I've done a, an entire restoration of an NES case. If you're curious about uh, this, I encourage you to go watch it. But um. Yeah, I, I'm gonna finish this and I'll get back to you when I'm done. Okay, so I've done my best to patch the uh, the break here and um, even over there inside on the inside. And uh, this is actually on, so I'm trying not to. Uh, it's hard to see. It was kind of hard to reach. Um, I've done all the underneath and uh, I've done it here, so it looks ugly right now. Um, but next, I'm gonna sand this down and maybe put some filler. A uh, tiny little bit of filler and then uh, see if I can color match it again um, But I'd rather even have that than just a big ugly crack that we had before um, I know it, it doesn't look great, but it looks much better to me than uh, having it all broken also It's tardy now, you know, I've got the uh, monitor back in and uh, This isn't moving A small dent here, so while I have the, um, the filler, I might as well see if I can fix it. Right, so I've uh, applied the uh, some filler. Um, it didn't quite take as well as I wanted here, but it's okay. Uh, so I've sanded down. Uh, it's smooth enough. It just looks horrible. So I think we're going to need to color match. Um, oops, I need to sand it bit more here uh, but color match uh, this guy so I have uh, little beer caps with some uh, uh, epoxy paint and uh, I'm just gonna try and just roughly approximate So what I'm gonna need to do is just 
very lightly um, sand this down smoother and then uh, the paint that's in the uh, shadow or section is gonna stay and then continue that to do that but maybe two or three times so I'm gonna wait for this to dry and then uh, repeat that process but already it's it's looking better as you can see uh, it's gonna be hard to by hand especially with a brush to match exactly the color uh, it would be hard to match it exactly anyway but without repainting everything um, so this is going to be a close close uh, approximation but it'd be much better than having uh, i can do this actually just to smooth out and then i'm going to blend maybe the color a bit higher you know on the, on the sides but it's going to be look much better than having a big crack already as you can see i mean there's a big big open crack here so yeah And there you go, folks. This is uh, the Philips Monitor 80. Um, I, I, well, I, I didn't expect this would work. So I've, I've uh, fixed as best as I could this corner here. Uh, there's still a few uh, scuffs, but it's, it's. I mean, I'm happy with it. It's mostly fine. Um, th the idea was to fix the crack mostly, and then maybe do some, some uh, cosmetic touches. But it, it was more fixing it structurally and uh, and it, it looks it looks fine I, I think it looks a lot better than having a big crack anyway um there's some jitter here in the picture and that's because of my poor uh, cable that i rigged up together just so i could uh, get some display on this uh, let me detach this guy here but the the picture is quite sharp um i have to say i'm pretty happy with it i love those uh, sort of uh, scan lines they're actually pretty uh, pretty visible and pretty good for a composite although for a monochrome display composite is uh, is almost just as good as a standard RGB there's no reason to have RGB really for a composite uh, for a, a monochrome display anyway folks this is the Philips monitor 80 um, restoration I hope this was interesting um, I I thought I would need to do some uh, some recapping here that some of the uh, the caps were blown but it, it seems to be working fine anyway folks thank you for watching don't forget this uh, Facebook Instagram Twitter all that sort of stuff there's a discord server if you want to chat with a few of us we're all chatting about tech like this and uh, arcades and whatever we're making and there's also a patreon page if you want to help the channel Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.